Happy Sunday, everyone. I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by. If you're one of those people that like to listen to people jabber about their yarn, their life, and their cats, then I'd appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and then ring the bell so you get notifications every time I upload. And if you decide that you like this video, if, if you go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I would appreciate that as well. So as you can tell, I'm back home now. I got back home this afternoon. I've got everything unpacked, everything put back up. Max claimed the llama head almost immediately and has been sleeping in it ever since. And Little Miss, she spent some time in the bathroom window and then spent some time in a cardboard box over by the desk until she decided that my lap was where she wanted to be. And she decided she wanted to be in my lap as soon as I started crocheting because she's a furry little asshole. So, and look, my, my rose is probably not going to make it unless I transplant it because... Of that leaf that right there I'll keep an eye on it but it does look pretty it also kind of looks fake if I'm honest but if it looks like it's starting to to not do well to like really not do well I will take it out and transplant it which means I probably need to get some soil because otherwise I'll be very quickly actually if I I probably would take it out and trim the try and trim it let it stay in the growth medium some Anyway, I forgot that people in my creative arts group asked for some scrunchies. So, I have creative arts tomorrow, so I am trying to make six scrunchies, five more for then. I need to do three more black ones, and one red one, and one white one. And they don't take me that long if I just sit down and actually do them, and don't get sidetracked. Because, you know, squirrel, um, I get sidetracked easily. But I had originally, they'd asked me how much I charged for me. And I told them, you know, 75 cents each or three for $2. But everyone that goes to the counseling, goes counseling where I get, where I, the center where I go, we're all on a sliding scale. And 90% of us are covered under a mental health grant. But that means that we don't have to pay for anything. We're not rich people at this clinic. We don't go there because... They have the best therapists and the best doctors. I mean, they've got great doctors and therapists. But you go there because you can afford it. So, I mean, they take really good care of us. But, yeah, it's, you know. So, what I decided that instead of, you know, asking them to pay me money, I'm going to ask them to pay it forward with an act of kindness. You know, go do something nice for someone. You know, help someone carry their groceries in or, you know pick up, you know, trash if they see it on the side of the road, you know, when you're walking away, it's just something, you know, and that's, I feel better about that than just, um, taking money from them. So, so my plans for, you know, coming up my, you know, I, like I said, I have creative arts tomorrow. My DBT group is on Tuesday. So no gym until Wednesday, which is good because I am sore. My aunt, this hurts all the way up through here from bench press and then water aerobics. My legs are sore. Today was leg day. I went and did um, lower body. So it was squats and Romanian deadlift, which Romanian deadlift is good for stretching you out after squats. Um, leg curls and leg extensions and calf raises. And then I got on the cross trainer instead of the elliptical because I forgot that I don't like the cross trainer. And... You know, I'm just awkward enough that I'm like, I stayed on it for 20 minutes instead of getting off and going over to the one I like. Um, I just will remember next time. I don't like the machine. I was so wore out when I was done. I get, I mean, so far my experience with going to the gym is I go to the gym, I work out, have a nice workout, come home and take a nap. Which you can see by the hair. It's all wild. It was funny because I had to like, it was doing wings out here. And then this, so it was like, you know, three ridges. It looked horrible. I just kind of did this thing to puff it up because it looked a little bit less creepy than the other one. And I accidentally look creepy an awful lot just because I have a t-shirt that says, um, I'm not mad. It's just my face or something to that effect. I have resting murder face. Um, it's worse than resting bitch face. 
you know, and I get lost in my head and this so the facial, so I, and I squint when I'm thinking or, you know, concentrating, you know, I will squint even with my glasses on, which, you know, but, um, which is why I've got the forehead, but, um, but my thought, my facial expressions match what's going on in my head. Like I'm off in some whole different world. Like this place does not exist that, you know, this, my house doesn't exist whenever I'm stuck in my head. I'm off somewhere else. And my facial expressions match what's going on in my head. And so I've had people tell me before that I terrified them until they got to know me because I glowered and glared at them and they thought that I was going to like, attack them or something. I'm like, dude, no, I'm the nelliest little fag you're ever going to meet. I mean, seriously, I am a big giant weenie. So, yeah. My cat is more likely to cause you damage than I am. It's pretty much guaranteed a little Miss Shithead's going to give the damage if you try and pet her. So, anyway, and uh, yeah, and the, the two furry little dictators get to go to the vet on Tuesday. So, Max is going to get a dental cleaning, so he's already going to get have to get sedated. So, you know, no food for him after like 11 o'clock at night. Little Miss, they're going to try and examine her when we first get there. And if she doesn't do well, which we're just going to assume she's not going to do well, she'll get sedated for her exam. So she gets the whole nothing by mouth before the night before, too. But, you know, she hasn't let them do some of the exams, like the where they've got to stick things in places. She hasn't let them do that in since she was probably about 12 weeks old. So she's kind of overdue to get things poked places. So... But, and also, since I'm going to the gym, I'm starting to, I'm going to start eating healthier, which means I'm not going to live off frozen pizza forever. Um, so I have to start planning my meals, my dinner, my, you know, but not. So, I'm going to plan, tomorrow I'm going to sit down and plan out what I'm going to eat. I'll use my fitness pal to make sure I'm hitting decent, you know, macros and whatnot and not, you know, like deficient or something. As best as I can anyway. Which, I mean, I'm going to tell you, breakfast is pri is primarily going to be, probably going to be egg beaters for breakfast, and yogurt and fruit for lunch, and then, like, chicken enchilada casserole, or crock pot chicken fajitas for dinner, and with, like, roasted broccoli and a spinach salad. And will probably be my meals, and I will eat the same thing every day for a week. I might be alternate... You know, if, if I make chicken enchilada casserole and crock pot fajitas, and that's my dinner for two weeks. That's like enough food for two weeks, so I can alternate between the two. I'll see how I feel and what I look like. What it, you know. And the crock pot's easy. The chicken enchilada casserole's easy. I go for easy food. So, you know, I'm inherently lazy. So, anyway, going grocery shopping on Tuesday, and I get to go yarn shopping. Yay! Michael's is having a sale. They've been emailing me about it. Um, so far, I've earned four skeins of yarn because I had group on therapy. Or not group on therapy. I, I had group on therapy. I had therapy on Thursday. And then I went to the gym on Friday. And I went to the gym on Saturday. And I went to the gym today. I'll have... What you call it? Group tomorrow. Creative arts tomorrow. And then I will have... Um... DBT group. I'm looking at it on my computer screen and still not able to read the words I'm looking at. My brain has just decided it's done for the day. I have DBT group on Tuesday, but because what happens is Tuesday, I get up at the butt crack of dawn so I can catch the bus, take take the little furry brats to the vet, leave them there, go to my group, and on the way back after group, stop at Michael's and the grocery store. And then go pick up the fur babies and go home and start cooking and whatnot. So, Tuesday's going to be busy. But, you know, it's all good. I'm doing what I need to do to get healthy and healthy physically and healthy mentally. Um, so, and I'm still excited. My sister's coming home. On the 29th she's not doing well but she'll do better once she gets here 
So, um, and I got one necklace that I had ordered for her off eBay. Um, it, it arrived, so I'll have that to give to her when she gets here. So, anyway, this has been long enough. And, again, if you want to keep coming in and seeing what's going on in my crazy, boring life. Um, how can it be crazy and boring? I'm not sure, but it does work out that way. Plus, the, the little furry little crackheads. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. I'm at 786 subscribers. I really want to get to 800 by the end of February. It is the 16th. So, if you could share me out to people, I'd really appreciate it. And, okay, I promise that was my hands, not me. Um, mine are much louder. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.